So I'm going to start today's video with a question. Now, a lot of us know that it's important to treat our room. If you want to bring the very best off of your stereo system, yeah, you should have diffusion panels, bass trap, absorption panels, and so forth. But yet, a lot of people don't treat their room. Why is that? And I think part of the reason, as I mentioned in my past video, the video where I treated my room, is that because we read up about it, but we never experienced it. Unless you go listen to a stereo system in a fully treated room, you might not appreciate what room treatment can do to your system. So let me ask you another question. Now, we all know that the computers that we use are very noisy devices, right? And so why is it that we don't deal with it? It uses a switching power supply. And if you Google it, you know the issues with switching power supply, right? So why don't we put a linear power supply into our computer? And of course, my theory is, well, it's because unless you get a chance to hear it, you don't know there is a difference. Just the same thing as unless you hear a room that's fully treated, you don't know the difference. Everything is on paper. So recently, I got a chance to review the Inuit Zenith MK3 music server. Now, for those of you who have not seen the video, go check it out. First thing I noticed when I put it in my system, yeah, darker background. Sound stage is wider, it's more 3D, bass is tighter, and blah, 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 blah. But that's a $5,000 device. Now, for those of you who believe that computer, music server, ah, they all sound the same, it's all snake oil, it's zero in one, it's digital. Yeah, this video is probably not for you, so I'll see you in the next one. For those of you who are curious, Thomas, so what did you do to upgrade your computer? Did it improve the sound? If it did, did it? get closer or how close you got to the Inuit MK, Zenith MK3 and this we're going to talk about in today's video. So let's start with the Matrix Element H USB card. Now I reached out to Apple's audio store asking them to send me one for review. And for those of you who don't know this store, I've mentioned them in my Topping D90 video. Four advantages ordering from them. You have free return, extended one year warranty. They'll give you the best price online even 30 days after you purchase the unit. So if you plan to purchase this card, go check them out. Now the card if you go online and you read up on it, yes, it has the Crestec CCHD 575 Super Low Noise Femto Second Clock and blah, blah, blah. To be honest, I don't care, man. You can put an atomic clock in it if you want. What matters to me is, does it improve the sound, which we'll talk about a bit later on. Now, what I like about it, you can use an external power supply to improve the sound quality even further. And luckily, the HDplex power supply that I got has extra output for this USB card. If you look at any high-end audio gear, they pay a lot of attention to the power supply. So one day I was chatting with a subscriber of mine. He actually recommended this store to me, HD Plex. And for him, he bought one and he said that it's very good. So I reached out to Larry and uh, he sent me this unit for review. What's unique about this linear power supply is that it supports four devices and you can adjust the voltage for two specific devices. This, he told me, is a bit special. You don't see that a lot in these external linear power supply unit. Now, the unit is heavy. Well, I like heavy. It's a sign of quality. And this is not a switching power supply. So it does get a bit warm because there's no fan. Now, to use it with my computer, I have to order an extra piece. And that's the HDplex 400 watt Hi-Fi DC-ATX. This is actually made for their own casing. The, the companies also sell these computer casing that are fanless. Now, I don't want to order that, so I kind of did a hack job with my computer. I just put it somewhere, wherever I can fit in my computer. It doesn't look too good, but once I turn the computer around, you won't see it anymore. So for me, my goal was just to test the sound quality, if it improves it or not. The best part about having this linear power supply unit, as I mentioned, because it has extra output, 
I can use it with my Exasound E28 DAC. Now, if you read the manual, which no audio files does, of the Exasound E28, it's actually written in the manual. If I want to improve the performance of my DAC, I can use a better power supply. So I'm like, fantastic. Finally, I get a chance to use it with the Exasound E28 at the same time powering my computer. Did it improve the sound quality? We'll talk about it a bit later on. Now, I'm not a technical person, so I'm just gonna ask you to go check their website, read up on some of their design, like their design choices. And uh, it, it sounds impressive, but because I, I don't know anything about power supplies, I, I can't really tell you, is it supposed to be wow, or is it like, okay, this is good. So one thing to keep in mind, you have to be very comfortable with building computers if you're gonna do this all by yourself. It doesn't even come with a manual, but fortunately I'm very comfortable with building computers, so it was not really a big issue. And finally I went on Amazon to buy a CPU fan and I was struggling for months because it's 48 bucks for a fan. Now I have fans like these before and I know they work and because of this upgrade, I told myself, you know what, I'll, I'll just do it, man. And I have to say, once I put it in my computer, my computer is dead silent now. You don't hear the fan at all. And I know it's painful, but uh, I, this is one upgrade. I said, you, you should go for it if you can hear your fan from where you're sitting when there's no music playing. So how is it after the upgrade? Look, here's the problem, okay? I can't A-B test it. I knew it before I changed the power supply on my computer. It's not like I can take out the power supply, put it back, take out, put it back. So I have to rely on memory and you know, our memory sucks when it comes to stuff like this. But regardless, I'll tell you, the first second when I powered up after the upgrade, I say, yeah, there is a difference. Not like the Inuit MK3 difference, but I would say 70%. Sure, darker backgrounds, more clarity, a bit better control in the bass. Soundstage did not go wider than I hope you would, but yeah, 70% of the MK3. Now, for those of you who have not seen the Inuit Zenith MK3 video, Keep in mind that unit has over a hundred optimization, custom firmware, custom BIOS, special motherboards, and so forth. That's the reason why it's five thousand dollars USD. But regardless, I thought, yeah, okay, pretty good. Now, one thing I could do though is to compare the Matrix H USB card and the motherboard USB port. And as I go back and forth, I notice, oh, in the beginning, the USB card is actually more sibling. There's more sharpness to it. But after a few hours, I noticed, oh, it actually got softer. So expect you should gain a bit more clarity with it and a bit tighter when it comes to the base. The next thing I was able to A-B test was the uh, Exasound E28 with the linear power supply and the one that came with it. Right away, once I plugged it in, I say, oh, it's actually smoother. So I was actually happy because I've been wanting to upgrade the power supply of my DAC for like three years, two years, something like that. And finally, I got a chance to do it. So that's why I said, okay, overall, there is an improvement in the sound. Not the $5,000 Zenith MK3 improvement that I was hoping for, but there was an improvement. So I'm going to wrap it up at this point. Now, the fact that they have a 30-day trial period and you can return it, no questions asked, when it comes to the linear power supply, is enough of a reason for me to tell you, yeah, you should give it a try. If you're somebody who has always wanting to upgrade the power supply of your components, for example, you can use it for your phono stage. Uh, you can use it for your DAC, your maybe, I don't know, maybe if your headphone amp uses 12 volt, well, up to 15 volt, then you're okay. And Above all, if you always wanted to upgrade the power supply of your computer. Now, if you want to go all the way, you can look at their casing. They have special casing, fanless one. That looks pretty cool. For the Matrix USB card, now you don't need an external linear power supply to upgrade this part of your system. You can actually use the internal computer power supply. Of course, it's better with the external linear power supply, but I won't lose sleep over it. Now, keep in mind, if you're gonna upgrade this part of your system, do it at the very end, after you upgraded every single thing else in your system. This is one of the final tweaks you do to your system. Fortunately, with Apple's audio store, you do have a safety net. 
One thing I noticed though, because after I put the card in, I did try with different speakers. Sometimes tweaking can be, you can over tweak a system. I'll put it that way. So would the card work for you or not? Really depends on your system. For example, with the Trio, the Genesis I have here, it sounded better with the card, without a doubt. It was definitely better with the card. So uh, because you no, know, this is a smooth sounding speaker, I wanted a bit more bite on the top end. So with that, I'm going to end the video with, I'll give you something to think about. So over the years, I got a chance to meet a lot of audiophiles. And one thing I noticed, there are different kind of audiophiles. For some audiophiles, when they upgrade, they listen mostly to tone. Is it sharper? Is the bass stronger? Is it brighter? Is the mid-range smoother? And so forth. Then there's the other kind of audiophile. They will listen to the vibration of the throat of the singer. They'll listen to the resistance caused by the bow when the musician pulls on his violin, the echo of the room, and little stuff like that. So this kind of upgrade is more for that kind of audiophile. You have to be somebody who's really into listening, meaning that you're not the kind of person who watch TV and listen to music at the same time. When you listen to music, you're 100% focused on listening to music. For those kind of people, you'll hear the biggest difference with this kind of upgrade. The other kind of audio files, you might pick up the difference. It really depends on the individual. So I just want to be clear about that. But as I said, given the fact that you have 30 days to try it out, and please do not abuse it because these are not big companies. If you always wanted to upgrade the power supply, then take a look at this company because it's very unique, right? One power supply able to power four different devices. And now with Apple's audio store, they have very good return policy. They have very good price. So yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys next time.